Okay guys, so I'm back from town and I have a Target haul for you guys. And there are three th three or four things I can't show you in the Dollar Tree haul. Or, no, this is not a Dollar Tree haul. Target haul. Because they're gifts for people, so I'm going to put them back here. They're Christmas gifts. Sorry guys, but I don't want to spoil this surprise. It's pretty darn cool. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you guys up front. There's a couple items to buy if you're wanting to do any of the craft projects I do at Christmas time. Um, so, uh, they have these cute little rolling pins for a dollar a piece, I think they were. Yeah, they're a dollar a piece. So, I picked up two of them. That's going to go with one of the Christmas crafts that I'm going to make. Um, so, if you... If there, interested in following along with crafts that's where I got them you could probably make your own out of some wooden beads and little pieces I mean you could make something but when I seen them I had to get them they're cute then these I'm not sure which one I'm going to use for the project I'm going to do I seen something on my Facebook uh, Dollar Tree craft crew and they had used something that looked like this on their things from the Dollar Tree, and these were a dollar a piece, so I picked them up, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, if I'm going to use them at all, but they may be used in a craft down the road, just saying, and they are cute, but you could also come up with other things like this in other places. It's just, this is so cute, and I don't know how I'm going to work this out, what I'm going to do, but that's what I picked out. I picked up two of the Cardinals and one of the um, bears, or two of the bears, I mean. Okay, then I love sparkling juice, um, just for nice little, when I'm having a nice meal and I'm wanting a little, make it feel a little more special, I like to have sparkling juices, and, um, the Dollar Tree haul, which is, I bought some apple juice, sparkling apple juice, but this is sparkling red grape, and I found this at Target, it was a little, like, four ninety nine. but this way, when I open a bottle, it's enough for two of us, so this is four times for mom and I, and I never have, and I don't have to worry about them going to waste that way. I'm not opening a big bottle and not getting them all drank up. Mom's put folding up bags and putting them in a uh, old a tissue box. We I said I went in there with the intent of getting outfits, so I picked out an outfit for my mom, and we're gonna have her try it on. I'll show you that at the end of this video. Um, I got her this red sweater because mom's always cold. And I thought, oh, this would be pretty on her. She lo Red's her favorite color. And I just thought that would look so, so pretty on her. And she got excited when she saw it. So, And then I found this pair of pants. And I figured if they don't fit her, like I said to my sister, there's three of us, four of us that have similar sizes. And I can always find somebody in the family. But this pair here, it's stretchy. And it's like a knit material. And I think it's just cute. And I think this would be really a cute outfit for her to wear to the doctors. So what do you think of that outfit, Mom? I like it. She likes it. That's good. And then I've seen something for myself, which my sister has picked up some cheap jeans. And is going to get, let me buy a couple pairs from her. But I, while I was in there, I saw this white pair for um, $13.99, which is... More than what my sister paid for hers. But I thought this white pair would be really cool for just for fun. Or, you know, a pair of jeans. I've been wanting a pair of white jeans for a while. I don't know why. I don't really wear them. But, I'm, but you know, I'll get it. If nothing else, for pictures. It might be good for some pictures. And then I found this cute overshirt, which is similar to the one I got last year. But I love these for, like, little overshirts when I'm uh, having a cold day. Or just uh, to go over some of my other tops and stuff. So I got this black and red one. Um, love that color combination. So kind of both of us are black, red, and white. I didn't plan it that way. But maybe we can do a photo shoot with these outfits together. Um, and do a mother-daughter photo shoot. And then the last bag I got that I can share with you guys. I got some hair chalk because I'm wanting to do my hair in pink. So I got this hair chalk to do my hair in pink. So that's coming up down the road. And then I got this game called See What I Mean. What I mean, Relative Insanity. See what I mean? Um, if you remember back in February, I got the Relative Insanity game, and my family has played it, and we have laughed our butts off at that game. Then I found this game, and I don't know if this is gonna be good. I, I still no. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, but. <laughs> it coming. Then I found this game. Well, actually, I found this game first, and I thought this sounded cool. It's MASH. And if you've never played the game MASH, um, what I remember of MASH was it was mansion, apartment, shack, and house. And then you had, like, who the guys you liked were, and the cars, and dates, and, like, you had, you, it got played so many different ways. But this is a game for adults. And it's a spin on the iconic game MASH. And so, like, the card they show on the back is your Dirty 30 birthday party. And then the first thing is, forget the usual restaurant. Your party is. And then there's, you arrange for you and your crew to arrive via. The highlight of the night will be at the, and you end up going home with. And then, like, um... So they had, like, for the blue one, it was at a nudist colony with llamas. And then the backs of your haters. And then getting a nipple piercing. And then the last one, you get to add your own options, and it was Kelly's hot brother. So it sounds like it's fun, and this can be played by two, I think I read. So Mom and I will probably play this one and see if it's any good. Yeah, it can be played by two to... Four, eight, I think two to eight players, and it takes about 20 minutes to play a game. So I thought this would be fun for Mom and I this week. I have a video that I want to film, but I'm waiting on some feedback from somebody to see if it's going to be a go, if I can do this video. And the waiting is killing me right now because um, if they say no, I can't do it because it is would, could invade their privacy, and I don't want to do that. A good way to put that without saying too much. Um, so I'm hoping this person gets back with me. And also, I don't know if they read the message or if somebody else in their life read the message or what. So that's also making me a little nervous and frustrated because I'm just like, is this person getting my message? So um, I wish they would just respond. But then again, I also am like, if they respond and they respond in the negative where I can't do it, how am I going to feel? So I'm kind of on that like going through a lot of emotion for that reason okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video comment down below your favorite item in my target haul um what other games like if you know of a good board game or something especially one that's for two to or more players i want to hear about it um suggestions for dollar items i can get for christmas presents for people i'm looking for some suggestions there i have Four people to finish their Christmas presents. Mindy's is almost done. I, I really do need to close because we need to go try these clothes on. And then I have to call my sister and maybe read to her mom. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're having a wonderful day filled with lots of love and laughter. And we will catch you next time. Bye, guys.